Welcome back to Badger Canyon Motorsports. Today we are going to be building up the 212 Predator for the Tri Sport. Join us, shall you? So what we've got here is we've got ourselves a 212 Predator. Uh, now this is the 212 Hemi Predator, uh, as indicative by the stamp or the cast aluminum valve cover versus the stamp steel valve cover of the non-Hemi. Uh, so we've gone to Go Power Sports and have gotten some parts. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw this thing together and maybe make a few extra horsepower to push the tri sport along. What we've got, let's see. Gaskets. No, timing key. Gaskets. Stage one intake with, of course, carb jet, more gaskets. Uh, header pipe, which we will be throwing a glass pack on this guy, because the one that we did for my buddy is the same pipe and it is obnoxiously loud. Intake adapter for the stage 1 air filter, 18 pound valve springs, ARC billet rod, And the Dino Cams Mod 2 camshaft. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do today, we're actually going to set the block aside and we're going to swap the rod over to the ARC billet rod. So, the first thing that you want to do, notice the direction of the arrow on the piston. The pi that goes down. Also notice that the oil dipper goes down. So that means you're going to be installing this rod just like that. So, in the wrist pin keeper, there's a little circlip, snap ring, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, retaining pin, or retaining, retaining clip. And so you're just going to want to get your pick in there and use your thumb as a shield. Bam! And there it is. So it doesn't come out and hit you in the face? So it does not hit you in the face. And then pushing from the opposite side, push the wrist pin out just enough to pull the stock rod out. And then reach down between your legs and grab some oil. And we're going to throw just a little bit here in the wrist pin hole. How can you do that? To lubricate it. Ah, so it's easier? Well, no, so that it has lubrication in there before the oil gets splashed up and in there. Okay, so arrow dipper, put it back in, slide that guy back in there, yeah, right there, and then go ahead and take your clip and pop it back in. Make sure it sits in the recessed groove. And you can use your pick to just kind of push it down on in there. Okay. Okay, and something you might want to remember on these. On one side, there's a dot right here. There's also a dot right here. Those two dots go back together when you put this rod cap back on. If you don't, bad things will happen. So we've got our brand new insert bearings. And there's a tab on the bearing and a tab on 
the rod that that's going to line up with and then you're also going to want to make sure that you can see through your oiler hole so do the same thing on the other cap or on the cap side making sure your oiler hole is again lined up all right we got the piston in now we're going to do the camshaft and I've got a mod 2 dyno cams camshaft um, and I wanted just to show you the difference between these so this is the stock 212 hemi camshaft and you can see the lobes on them this is the mod 2 from dyno cams and you can see the difference in lobe profile with the dyno cams over the stock one. This is going to make way more power. And we've got our dot here and our dot there. And we're just going to go ahead and line those guys up just like that. Now what we're going to do before we put this cover on is we're going to go ahead and rotate it and make sure that there is no interference between the rod and the camshaft because when you do go up to a billet rod you run the risk of interfering with the camshaft uh, the shaft itself in between the lobes. So we're going to go ahead and spin this over and make sure everything plays nice. Alright, now we're going to do the uh, timing key. We're going to get that in and get this side buttoned up before we go ahead and get the head on. So we're going to pop this key out. There's your stock timing key. It's just a woodruff key. And then we're going to go ahead and take the new one that we got from Go Power Sports, and it tells you right on it how to install it, which direction it needs to go. And so you've got that guy just like that, and we're going to set that in there just like that, where this step is towards the back. And we're going to set it in there just like that guy shows. Now that we've got the crankcase buttoned up, we're going to go ahead and work on the head. Um, we've got 18 pound valve springs versus the old 10.8 stockers. So we're going to go ahead and pop the valves back into this guy and get the springs and everything back in. So this be the exhaust one. Get a rag. Okay, so the stock gasket for these 212s is 45,000, uh, just a standard head gasket, you know, same material that you'd find like this on your exhaust gasket. 
We're switching to the 10,000s metalhead gasket from Go Power Sports. Uh, we're going to bump the compression up, basically. Um, and this stuff requires copper spray gasket, spray a gasket, high temp sealant. So, following the directions, shake for one minute, and it's always best to shake these upside down, get everything properly mixed. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and spray this down and get it on the head and, or sorry, get it on the block and then get the head get, head on. Okay, so this has been sitting for about 10 minutes or so and it's it's gotten tacky. Um, I'm not actually going to touch that sealing surface with my grubby dick skinners. So, we're going to flip this around the proper way. And there's only one way these can go on. You can see this goes right there. Grab by the edge as always and get it. Haha. <laughs> Get it right on there, just like that. Okay. Now we can get to take the head. Take the valve cover off the head. Okay. I'm going to take that head. And not flip it upside down without dropping those tappets. Make sure that's all good. Okay, now it's on. We'll put our head bolts in. Just a finger tight to begin with. And now we're going to torque it down to 17 foot pounds. And we're going to crisscross fashion. Okay, so when you get an aftermarket cam, it comes with a cam card. And this has all the specifications from the camshaft on it. So you've got your open, your close, which would be your duration, um, your lift, your center line, um, and your valve lash. Valve lash, three thousands, cold. Um, so because we've gone from a 45 thousandths head gasket to a 10 thousandths head gasket, we're basically have shaved, shaved the head 35 thousandths. Um, so that's going to require a readjustment of the valves. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. We've got our feeler gauges right here. Three thousandths. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the feeler gauge and we're going to come down here in between the adjuster and the tappet on the top of the valve. And you're going to go well, see that's just about too far, it still slides. See now when it stops sliding, you know that's too tight, like right there. Back that up just a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and tighten that adjustment nut down. And then tighten it down fully. You're going to grab onto that with a pair of pliers and tighten that down with, I believe this is a 9 mil. So let's go ahead and do the other side. Okay, and then once you tighten them down, go back over with your feeler gauge. Oh, that one tightened up. That one's fine.
Okay, now we're ready to put the valve cover on. Uh, carburetor, exhaust pipe. Looks we got this guy from Go Power Sports. Now I'm going to make a glass pack on this uh, here soon. But that's going to look pretty damn cool. Alright, let's go ahead and get this rest of this back together. Since we already got the carb off, uh, we're going to go ahead and change the jet out. Now because we're, we've put in a, a modified cam as well, I'm sure this is actually going to run lean. Um, however, it should be fine. Um, I've got a set of um, micro drills on the way so we can drill one of these out to just a little bit bigger. Okay, so we've got her all together. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Awesome. Well, we're going to go ahead and I got to clean the carburetor out just a little bit more on it. And we'll do some tune up. We'll make sure that valve wash stayed where we set it and all that. But soon enough, this thing is going on the tri sport. Join us next time on Badger Canyon Motorsports. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you want to, go over to Instagram or Facebook and look us up and follow us. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.